Hey guys, welcome to 20 minutes of cardio and strength utilizing just the kettlebell. Now I will be utilizing the kettlebell today, but if you don't have one at home, you can do a lot of these uh, different activities and exercises just with your body weight. So whatever works for you. So if you are working out with us today, go ahead and start your watch. Um, I would do like an interval training or cardio, or if you have like a cross training, that works too. All right guys, go ahead and jog it out. You know, I always like to start with getting our bodies nice and warm. Moving it out, good. Lift the knees a little bit outside, acting like you're going through some tires here. We got some others wanting to work out with us too. Good job, y'all. Fast feet right here, fast feet. Nice job. Getting it warm, let's go in three, two. Jump squat right here, nice and easy. Again, just building some heat in the body. Good work, lifting up. Use those arms overhead, get that heart rate moving. Good, let's go back to that jog. Bring those knees out wide. Going through those tires, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up. In three, two, fast feet shuffle right here. Fast feet are moving. Good, hands are out in front. Give me three, two, Good, this time jack it out. Arms coming overhead, legs coming out. Great job guys, here's four, three, two, and one, front kick. So pushing out, arms come down, flex your foot, breaking down a door. Good, give me three, two, one. Regular squat, down and up. Give me four, three, two, one, front kick. Good. Last two, give me that squat. Down for five. Here's four, three, two, one, jump rope. 30 seconds and we're gonna get ready to get into this thing. So again, it's gonna be cardio moves, Mix in with some strength, utilizing that kettlebell as best we can. You got eight seconds here. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, go ahead and grab that kettlebell. We are going to start with just that squat press to the sky. So hold that kettlebell up. Feet are going to be out wide. You can turn. The toes out a little bit if you need. We're gonna squat down, straight press overhead. Squat, press overhead. Now, my kettlebell is about 20 pounds. If yours is lighter, you might wanna increase the pace or add some reps. And if yours is heavier, maybe you do the opposite. Decrease the reps or that pace. Good, pull it. Nice work. Good, give me three, here's two, and one. Set that kettlebell down right in front. We're gonna go into taps, okay? Taps are here, tapping down. Using that kettlebell as a gauge. Pick it up. Come on, lift those knees, arms overhead. 10 seconds, in three, two, one, pick that weight back up, same thing, get ready for it, and let's go, squat, overhead, squat, overhead, good, weights in your heels, butt is going back, push straight up, great job, here's four, Good, for three, two, and one. Kettlebell down, get ready for those taps. Let's do it, lift. So as you can see, I'm engaging the lower core to lift my knees up. Breathing heavy, arms overhead. If this becomes too much, arms at your side is sometimes a little more manageable, but if you need more, pick it up, 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, round three. Let's go, pick up that kettlebell, sink it down, let's go. Squat, reach, squat, reach. <sighs> Breathing heavy already, hang with me. Here's five, good four, big three, here's two, and one. Kettlebell down, we go into those taps in three, two, let's do it. Tap it out. Pick those knees up. You've got it. Come on guys, stay with me. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, walk it out. First round is one. Grab water if you need. I'm gonna show you your next strength move that we're starting with. Grabbing that kettlebell. We're going to come down. It'll be a deadlift into a squat, nice and low and then stand. So deadlift, squat, and stand. Come with me, y'all. Deadlift, squat, to stand. Deadlift, squat, to stand. Deadlift, squat, stand. Deadlift, squat, stand. Dead, squat, stand. Good. Combo move into that strength. Last two. Awesome job. Good, last one. And stand. All right, we go to those weighted squat pops. Okay, so toes can be slightly turned out. We're gonna be coming down, little pops to the sky. In three, two, let's do it guys. Little lifts, little lifts. Now your legs are gonna get on fire here. If you need to take a break from the weight, do that. But come right back into it. Give me that intensity. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. We go back to that deadlift combo. We're going to add a little bit this time. So make sure you're gripping in a way that you can roll it up into a curl. Okay, so we'll deadlift, we'll squat, curl at the bottom and stand. Come with me. Deadlift, squat, curl at the bottom, and stand. Again, deadlift, squat, curl, stand. Deadlift, squat, curl, stand. Awesome. Deadlift, squat, curl, stand. Nice job. Hang with it. Deadlift, squat, curl, stand. Good. We've got one more. Last time right here. And stand. All right, guys. Toes and knees go slightly out to the diagonal. Little pops in three, two. Let's do it. Down and up. Good. So keeping your chest up, booty back, inner and outer thighs are getting lit right now. Come on. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake them out. Round three, we're gonna add a little more. It's gonna be a deadlift squat, curl, overhead press. We're gonna put it all together. Come with me in three, two, and one. Deadlift, squat, lower curl, press as you stand, come back down. Deadlift, squat, low curl, press, come back down. Deadlift, squat, curl, press. Awesome job. Smoothing it out as best you can. Remember, your reps or your cadence will vary based on that kettlebell. Nice job. Now with a lot of these moves, you can totally do with the dumbbell as well. So if you don't have a kettle at home, no big deal. 
You can still make this work. Good. Deadlift, squat, curl, stand. You've got one left here. Deadlift, squat, curl, stand. All right. Those pops are coming. Switch your hips. Coming out wide in three, two, and one. Let's go, guys. Looks like Felix is getting ready to take a dip in the pool, which I will probably do afterward because I am sweating. Great job, guys. Come on. Little pops. Good. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! All right, shake it out. Grab your water if you need. I'm going to show you your next move. Hit pause if you need a break. All right, we're going to hinge it over in an alternating row stance. So I'm gonna to row to the right, switch grips, row to the left. Okay, one of my favorite moves with the upper back. All right, y'all get ready to roll in three, two, let's do it. So row, switch grip, row, switch grip, row. Awesome. Now slight bend in your knees, hinging over your hips, elbows are tight to the body, booty is back, core is pulled in tight. You are stronger than you think. Let's roll. Good. Come on, three more each side. Pull it. Last two. One more each side. Awesome job, guys. And stand. This time we are going to do lateral jump over into that thruster. So two options. You can jump over like so, or you can step over, and then we'll shoot it back into a thrust. Get ready to go in three, two, and one. We jump it over, shoot back thruster. Jump it over, shoot back thruster. You can also quick step it over, shoot back thrust. Come on, you're getting in as many as you can. Let's go, guys. Use the intensity that works for you. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Pick up that kettlebell, hinging it over, switching that row in three, two, let's do it guys. Row and switch that grip. As you transition from cardio to strength, think about that form. Stay with it. Awesome job. You've got it. Keep working. Three on each side. Two to go. And finish right here. Lift. Set that kettlebell up. Make sure you've got plenty of space. Get ready to go in three, two, let's do it. Jump it over, thrust it back. Good. Two feet or single feet. You can add it a push up if you want. Bring your hands to the air if you want. Again, I'm always giving you options. Your workout, make it work for you. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pick up that kettlebell. Round three, you're looking great. In four, three, two, let's do it. So we row, switch the grip, row. Good, slight bend in the knees. I know that lower back and that mid back area is feeling it. You're probably tapping in to some tricep and shoulder as well. Hang with it. Awesome job. You've got it. All right, last three. Let's go. Last two. You've got this. And last one. Nice work. Set that kettlebell up. Let's go, guys. In four, three, two. Let's do it. Take it over, jump it out. Or you step it over, jump it out, 
You can also step it out. Let's go. Nice work. 10 seconds, y'all. Four, three, two, and one. Catch a break, towel off. You're killing it so far. Hang with me. All right, we're picking up that kettlebell again. We're gonna come into that plie, upright row. So feet are out nice and wide. We're gonna plie down, two upright rows up top. Come with me in three, two, let's do it. Down, lift, lift, down. Good, lift and lift, down, lift, good, elbows wide, down, and lift, lift, whoo, awesome work. Heart rates are going. You are killing that cardio, killing that strength. Two more here, lift, lift, drop it down, lift, and lift, all right. One of my favorites is going to be an overhead kettlebell swing to a pushback plank or thruster, if you want to call it that. So it'll look like so, bending your knees, you'll swing all the way up, hips will drive, come down, set that kettlebell down, jump it back, pull it back in. In three, two, and one, let's go. We swing through, nice strong core, shoulders, jump it back. Now, why do I love to use that jump back? Our heart works harder. We engage that core. <sighs> Cardio in with strength. Great job. Throw it up, bring it down. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> and shoot it back. Awesome job, we go back. This time, double plie, single upright row. In three, two, and one, let's do it. Double down, double down, one arm lift. Double legs, double legs, one arm lift. Double, double, lift, good. Double, double, lift, double, double. Two more to go. You've got this, last one. All right. Kettlebell, shoot it back to that plank. In three, two, let's do it guys. Bend your knees, hips come out, core pulls in tight, shoot back, strong plank. We come up, pick it up again, good. Now you've gotta have confidence in yourself to move that kettlebell. So build up, let's go. Last two, great job y'all. And last time. Drop it down, shoot it back. Woo! We're into round three. As you guessed it, it's gonna be two plie squats, two upright rows. Get ready to rock it out in three, two, and one. Good work, two, take it to the sky. So it's awesome each round to see if you can add a little bit or change it up. Always keep the body guessing not the same old stuff, plus it keeps it entertaining for you, right? <sighs> nice work. Challenging the body to put out some more energy and effort as you change it up on it. <sighs> awesome work. Give me two more here. Down, down, double lift to the sky, to the sky. Back down, back down, and sky and sky one round left of these kettlebell thrusters. In three, two, let's do it. Bend your knees, thrust forward. Good, control it down, shoot it back. You can also step it back into that high plank if you need, that's always an option. Step, step, bring it back in. Pick it up, chest leads, good. Let's go guys. We've got two more left here. You got it. Woo. Last one, push through and return it back down. All right guys, walk it out. We are so close to the end. 
Hope y'all are feeling great. We've got our burners left. We start with the arms, okay? It's going to be a bicep curl, straight push out. In three, two, and one. So we curl and push. Good, curl and push. Curl and push. Now again, depending on how heavy that kettlebell is, you decide, do you need to pick up the intensity? Please do it if you need. Don't waste your 20 minutes here. You've got three to go. Good, last two. And last one. Relax down. One cardio burner left. We are going to try those high knees with your kettlebell in place. So holding your kettlebell locked in right underneath your chin, we're gonna bring those knees up high. Really quick, last little jolt here. In three, two, and one, let's do it. Bring it up. So those arms are working, core is working, heart is now working even harder. Add that cardio, finish it strong. 20 seconds, you can do it. Can you pick it up? Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out, put that weight down, catch your breath. Your heart rate should be plummeting right now. Through the roof and then back down. Awesome work today, guys. 20 minutes, cardio strength, utilizing that kettlebell in a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Please share, like, and subscribe. Have an awesome day. Keep sweating.